Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about the structure activity relationship of sulfonamide. And uh, that's how we will discuss about the different derivatives or drugs of the sulfonamide class. So let's start the sulfonamide class drug SAR by considering the sulfonylamide as an example. Sulfonylamide is an example of drug that belongs to the sulfonamide. So it's the numbering in every sulfonamide class will start from this sulfonyl group. This is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you may observe that at position 1, the sulfonyl group is present. And at the fourth position, that is the para position, a mino group is present. These both functional groups are essential for the activity of sulfonamide class. If we are going to substitute this first position sulfonyl group with the carbonyl, it will result in decrease of activity of sulfonamide. Beside this, if we are going to substitute this benzene ring with any other functional group or other ring, it will result in the derivative that will have no activity or what we say inactive. This fourth position a mino group can be substituted with other functional group to produce the product of the sulfonamide class. And the, this first position, a sulfonyl group is weakly acidic. Mean the weakly acidic properties of sulfonamide class is because of this first position sulfonyl functional group. And uh, this sulfonylamide has the pKa value in the range of 6.6 .6 to 7.4. This makes it slightly unionized and it can easily cross the lipid layer of the bacterial cell. So, at the fourth position amino group, if we are going to substitute this para position amino to the ortho or meta position, it will also result in the loss of activity of the sulfonamide drug. So you may observe that at the first position sulfonamide functional group is present and it is responsible for the weakly acidic properties because at the physiological pH its pKa value is around 10. So for modification of uh, this its pKa value different derivative of sulfonylamide drug are formed or they can be formed by substitution with the different heterocyclic ring means the heterocyclic ring can be substituted at this amino functional group and a different N1 derivative of sulfonylamide will be formed and they are basically formed due to adjust the pKa value to obtain the drugs that will have the good therapeutic activities and have the less chances of formation of what we say the crystal urea Now let's consider the N1 site substitution. N1 site substitution is made at this first position sulfonamide functional group where one of the bond of this amino functional group is replaced with the different heterocyclic ring or other functional group to produce the different derivative of sulfonamide. And their activities of each of the derivative or the drug will vary um, and it will depend purely on the type of the substituent. If we are going to substitute this N1 position amino functional group with any of the heterocyclic ring, it will result into the highly potent sulfonamide drug. Means these derivatives will be more potent. But in comparison to heterocyclic ring, if this first position N1 will be substituted with the benzene, then those derivatives of sulfonamide will have the more toxic properties. Beside this, electron rich substituent can be substituted at this N1 position and these derivatives will have the good bacterial static action, means they have the enhanced antibacterial properties. The substitution of the free sulfonic acid functional group will destroy the activity, means if we are going to substitute this sulfonyl functional group completely with a minor functional group within hydroxide it will be converted into the sulfonic acid and it will have the no antibacterial activity now let's consider the basics of the n1 substituted derivative so these are the different type of heterocyclic uh, ring that can be substituted at the n1 position like one is the pyridine and other is the pyrimidine Pyridine, this is the chemical structure of pyridine and this chemical structure you may observe this that structure is similar to the benzene except 
वन ऑफ द कार्बन इन द बेंजीन रिंग इज बींग सब्सिट्यूटेड आर रिप्लेस बाय द नाइट्रोजन दैट इज द हीट्रो एटम सो दिस इज द केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पेरिडीन एंड दिस इज द पैरिमिडीन एंड दिस द टू नाइट्रोजन एट द पोजिशन दिस वन एंड थ्री आर बींग रिप्लेस आर सब्सिट्यूटेड बाय द नाइट्रोजन and third ring is the isoxazole ring isoxazole are basically the five membered heterocyclic ring this pyridine and pyrimidine are what six membered heterocyclic ring but in comparison isoxazole are the five member heterocyclic ring that have the two hetero atom one is the nitrogen and other is the oxygen this is the chemical structure for the isoxazole ring and this you may observe that oxygen and nitrogen are present as a hetero atom so these are the different heterocyclic ring that can be substituted at the n1 position of the sulfonamide to convert or to form the different derivative of sulfonamide that will have the more potential so this is the common ring nucleus for the sulfonamide that is the sulfonylamide and this you may observe that if we are going to substitute this n1 position sulfonamide it will give the clinical useful drug of sulfonamide that will have the good potency activity in comparison to sulfonylamide so this can be substituted with either pyridine pyrimidine methyl pyrimidine dimethyl pyrimidine isoxazole methoxazole thiazole acetyl so these are the different classes of functional group that can be substituted at n1 site of sulfonamide and and on that basis different derivative will be formed so the example of the different drugs of sulfonamide that are formed by n1 substitution are one is the sulfapyridine second is the sulfadimidine sulfamirazine sulfaacetamide sulfafurazole and sulfamethoxazole so all these are the example of n1 substituted drugs of the sulfonamide class